welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Arrested Development Season 2, Episode Number 5. Hey, you know what I'm going to say already, man. So you might as well just do it now. Tell your friend, tell a friend over there. Like it, subscribe to it, hit the notification bell. It helps the algorithm. It helps us. Okay. All Please. right. I thought you were about to wrap it up quickly today. But you had more things to say, yeah, huh? I was just a little passionate about it. All right. It's the algorithm. Algorithm. The algorithm. algorithm. <laughs> Alright, a couple of comments from episode four, starting with executive producer Del Guy, who says, Great reaction and a good catch getting the Saddam Hussein reference with Pop Pop Bluth discovered underground. <laughs> and more good work catching the Charlie Brown references all through. I think by the end of the episode, four of the men did the Charlie Brown sad walk to the Christmas music. And of <laughs> course, the episode title, Good Grief, which I totally saw when I was uh, setting up the episode. I was like, oh my gosh, when I was getting ready to post this. Uh, was Charlie Brown's catchphrase, as well as fitting into the story overall. Good One gosh. bit that's easy to miss on first viewing, as George Michael walks sadly along the sidewalk, he passes a doghouse with a beagle lying on top of it. Oh, Just the yeah, nice new piece to do. I totally remember that moment now. <laughs> I love the character Ice, and I love the way Malik Yoba... Uh, I don't know how to Malik say Yoba? Yeah. Yoba? Okay. Plays him. I'm only sorry this is the last time we'll see him. Nah. Executive producer Jojo says, I'm a big fan of the Charlie Brown gag as well. And as Dale Guy pointed out, the set dressers get yet another nod for the Snoo Snoopy dog house that appears in George Michael's sad walk. It's, a, it's as Anne as the nose on Plain's face. Mm. Love that line and also I have... Yeah, they take it out, yeah. Are you wearing my dead wife's maternity clothes? Yeah. I think I'm fine. Yes. Doctor says they're My bad. Dead wife's paternity cuffs. Oh, you ready for this new prosecutor? Well, it was until you came back. Hey, you're not going to turn me in, are you? Because I, I had no idea there were sanctions against uh, I Iraq. You know, they, they sent me over there. They said, go build. I, I, do I look like a criminal mastermind to you? How do you get this ham open? I can't I can't get this ham open. I'm not going to turn you in, Deb. It's you upside down. Right. Reason for why what? Why do you have to lie? Why did you have to come back here in the first place? Oh, no reason. Your mother happens to be just stuffing my brother. That's all. I'm only here to find out if I have a shot with her. If she's really in love with Oscar, I don't know what the hell with her. I'll just, I'll just leave. I'll never come back. I think she's really in love with him. That's very funny. I need to find out, okay? Because ever since I, I heard about this, I can't sleep. I can't. Such piece of shit. I yeah. can't eat. No. No, it just peels off. Isn't that clever? Later that day, George Michael was having his eye exam and finding it to be just as difficult as his math exam. Or two. Two. No, no one. Okay. Two. You three. don't have to keep switching it, man. Uh, the last three is too much of an improvement. I'm sorry, is one is one in the mix still? And Michael met with the new <laughs> the mix. Wayne Jarvis. I'm sorry, I don't understand how this is not a conflict of interest. I mean, you almost represented us, and now you're the prosecutor. The Patriot Act. Read it. I, I'm not even the president anymore. My brother Joe is. I spoke with Joe. He appears to know nothing. Yes, that's he appears to know nothing. He <laughs> twice tried to microwave a ding dong while it was storming for him. Twice. Twice? Two times. Two times. In fact, Joe had been grilled earlier. I don't know anything about the business. I told you. We're going to get you a booth. We'll give you a few minutes to think about what you want to do. He knows less than anyone we have ever questioned. <laughs> you know, we to know that, however, and his confidence had never been more shaken. And just when he thought he couldn't handle another embarrassment, you're free to go. Why is he? What? <laughs> what? Say, a fugitive. I don't know where to find such a thing. Well, look harder. There might be something in it for you. Something to get me off the hook. If you could find a certain someone. Can I have a moment alone with my client, please? Did you follow any of that? Yeah, he's hinting that he's going to grant me immunity, but only on the condition that I turn on my father. You know where your father is? No, no wait. Don't tell me now. Okay. If you know, give me a high five. <laughs> he's not, not doing that. And it didn't give him a minute. Michael had just found out that his legal problems might go away if he turned in his father. It's just you and me now, huh? know where my father is, okay? He came back to make sure that my mother wasn't really in love with my uncle. He wants to know if he's still got a shot with her. If he doesn't, he's leaving. Oh, if he's got a shot with her, just give me a little tap on the fanny. That's not gonna happen. Okay. 
truth. <laughs> he tells him anything he wants to hear to keep him from running. We just have to keep him here until we can hear what kind of deal they're offering you. You just trust me. I'm a lot more competent than you can imagine. <clears throat> oh, I just forgot to take the tinfoil off, too. I really wanted that. Once oh, he just sharing his with that's someone it. who was well-versed on the subject. I mean, I couldn't get over the wall. They put me on suspension until I can. Well, perhaps you need to find somebody who can motivate you. Yeah, but who? And then it hit him. Uh. <laughs> Job had always proven a good motivator for Buster. Do it! Now, when you do this without getting punched in the chest, you'll have more fun. Hey, <laughs> brother. How would you like to uh, go to the old playground with me? I'm sure someone like going to go back to work. I'm never going. Well then, perchance I might be able to borrow your cellular telephone? I'm not fit to run a company. And I don't deserve a fancy phone. Well, the Blue Band Group might need me. That and big ass I don't deserve phone a fancy phone. phone. They didn't. And he doesn't. Michael knew he couldn't let his father get away. So he decided to see if his mother and Oscar really were in love. So come on, aren't you really just dating Oscar to get back at Dad? Well, it may have started as that. But I have fallen in love with Oscar. And it's so nice not to have to worry about getting pregnant. The doctor said I couldn't be a mother now if I tried. And that was without even a Here you go. Hot tea. Because that's what you are. A hot tea. She's coming on too much. She's too nice. Way too nice on myself. I can't take this anymore. I probably don't film myself. You should think about moving on, you know. I mean, this really isn't your scene. The sweaters and the furniture. The sweaters and the You should take a leap of freedom. Like my father. Just run. You don't know that. Is that her rape horn? It's more like a starter's pistol. Run. Meanwhile, Tobias set about learning how to operate his new cell phone. And Lindsay tried to spend oh, more time getting to know her dog. This is bad Hi, pictures, baby. babe. Oh, Steve. Hi. I just enrolled here. What are you doing here? I thought it's been a little time in my time. After all, has it been that long since I've been in high school? Is that fire? We have to go to class. Okay. Well, is that fire? Fire? what does it say? <laughs> anyway, we we'll spend a little more time together. Go shopping. Get a drink. I'm in school. And I'm 15. No. Oh, well, I'm much, much. Much older than 15. You don't look it. Oh, Steve. Oh, no, Steve. You made my day again. <laughs> she looks like a psychopath. <laughs> my mom's pretty uh, out there. She's not my mom. But she said you were her daughter. His daughter. That's her dad. That's a dude? The worst part is, he thinks That's it's a passing. That's a dude? Right outside the school, Buster tried to put his own shit, plan yeah. into action by stirring up old memories. Let me say, I need your help to get over the wall. Push me. I'm the pathetic one, Buster, not you. Yeah. I totally freaked out in front of that prosecutor today. Like a little girl, a little dress, little saddle shoes, little pigtails. Well, that does sound like a little girl. Come on, get my ire up. Push me! <laughs> was on his email. Are you serious? Almost always. I was once called the worst audience participant Cirque du Soleil ever had. This is a big accusation. <laughs> the well, my worst audience participant in music. music. About my father. He's guilty, Michael, of medium to heavy treason. That proves it. You can't protect him. Tournament and immunity is yours. Michael returned home to confront his father. Mom was just up here looking for you. She's claiming Oscar's disappeared because of something you said to him. Can't talk right now. Really? What's wrong with your voice? I can talk. Sure. I didn't say anything, Oscar. Uh, anything else? Nothing. Oh, hey, did I tell you I accidentally ran into Steve Holt? Wow, everything about you is so accidentally. <laughs> You're everything a woman should be. Thank you, Steve. We ended up making a lunch date. Thought you were spending time with maybe. Yeah, I'll have your schedule. But Mom isn't the only one finding love when she least expects it. Her words. I have to reschedule. Oh, finding love. She said that? We're here? Yeah, she won't shut up about him. She's she's a tingling like seventy-five times. Yes, me tingling in no with this tingling and with Oscar. She said those words in this house. Yeah. Dad? Hello? 
Michael had just discovered that his father had escaped from the attic. Yeah. This one sound like a strange question, but have you seen Dad? Of course not. And I'm not talking to you. You tried to scare away Oscar, which didn't work. He's back. I just, uh... That's not him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's all I'm good for. Did you hear that? He said he just wants to. Goodbye, Mom. Have sex with me. Have sex with me. <laughs> you smell like a pine cone. Yeah, that's the weed. I went through my, uh, my whole trailer and uh, I, I smoked something like a cigarette. Should we take it into the bedroom? I wonder if you really love me. Of course I do. She knows, is it? No, she doesn't. Oh. Oh. What's wrong with you? Where are you going? I'm on mushrooms. I'm on mushrooms. mushrooms. And soon, the prosecutor's mm -hmm. evidence became public. We've obtained photographs that officials call definite proof of WMD's Definite arrest. proof. What that means for your weekend, that's it. It seems that due to the new information sharing provisions in the Patriot Act, the photos had made the rounds through several branches of government, and ultimately, Where through the U.S. Army itself. I just came back to tell you, I can't do that well. There's no time for that. We're shipping out without you. What? Didn't you see? Weapons of mass destruction? Those bastards. I did not say that. Are you gonna let that slide? Are you gonna allow your children, your children's children, and any children that I might have out there to live in fear for the rest of their lives? Climb that wall, homo! Climb it. And just as the man thought the day could get no more surprising, it did. You, Joe really oh. does motivate him. Yeah, it'd be more fun. Oh, hey George Michael. Oh, hi. We found WMDs in Iraq, so we got a half day. Cool. So we're gonna say cool. <laughs> Not anticipating a good reaction on that. Well, the beat got your glasses. Maybe, Miss Tom, you'll get a neck brace. Anyways, have you seen my mom? It's possible. She's on her way to meet Steve Holt. Steve Holt? I thought you liked him. I do. I'm crazy about him. But he's obsessed with her, that's all he wants to talk about. Lindsay felt bad. Perhaps she had hurt her daughter by putting herself first. But she would have felt worse if she'd remained even a moment longer. But it's only because he thinks she's got a penis. Oh, I told him <laughs> it was a training. What? Barry was right. Yeah. To buy his head in there, he photographed himself while learning to use his camera phone. See, at, at this close, they always look like landscape. Nope. You're looking at balls. No, you look at the ball. Two forensic scientists <laughs> confirmed this. And for the second time oh, in two wow. days, the information sharing network put into place by the Patriot Act was put to use. The balls. We're looking at balls. We're looking at balls. Look at that ball. Okay. School back in. And eventually, the news traveled back to the source. We got one wrong, and we blew it. We blew it. I'm on TV. <laughs> and Michael returned home a free man. Got the glasses. Now you'll do better on those math exams. I think I blew the eye exam too, because every time I take these off, I feel better. Listen. 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 George Michael had shared a room with his uncle Tobias. Oh, there's a ladder. Oh, I don't get it. Oh my God, babe. Yeah, I don't think you need glasses, son. Yeah, I'll take it. If you recognize. Officer, uh, waiting, I'm ready to go. Hey. You got nothing since your mother deserted me. You know, you, you deserted her. Yeah, you, know, you escaped and then you faked your death. I'm not so sure she sees you as ever liable, but listen, but for what it's worth, I did not turn you in. <laughs> and I don't know whether it's just Tracy's maternity clothes, but it, it's very nice to see a softer side of you. Although, I'm sorry that you feel you got no love in your life. Well, I don't feel that way anymore. It's been a long time since someone stood up for me. Found her perfume, huh? Well, oh, just a little bit left in the bottom. That was the end of it. It's nice on you. Thank you. Thank you. That On the was net, the end of it. Just waste the rest of my life. Dead wife, perfume. But just for now, because you get on my case, I am out of here.
Then go. Who needs you? Which was what attracted him to her in the first place. God, I missed you. Lindsay reconciles with her daughter. Go. Huh? Can you go. Got you something? It's so sweet. You know what? I was hoping we could go to dinner tonight. Oh, I thought you were gonna go see Steve Holt at school. Nah, I just wanted to check oh, God, him out. Make sure he's good enough for my daughter. Is it? It's a shamali. She mailed. It's a shamali. <laughs> Elias, traumatized by the public exposure, returns to an unfortunate quirk. Thank God, my cutoffs. There were cutoffs up here. <laughs> All right, that was episode five of Arrested Development, and that was a that was a tamed uh, episode right there. It was a little a little mellow, but it still was a good time. It had a lot of good jokes up in there, uh, very smart jokes in there as well, uh, and and a, and a heartfelt moment at the end with his dad giving him a hug. I think that's probably the the most serious thing besides the other lawyer that I've seen on this show yet to be. But um. I mean, I, I had a good time with it. It, it was not a whole lot to talk about on it, but uh, I just don't... It, it's kind of confusing to me to see where we're going to go with the dad and the brother. How are we going to resolve this, end this, or fix this? Because he can't stay in his attic forever. Yeah. So it's like, I, I thought we was about to do something right here, tricky, but I, I don't know. So maybe something else would develop to get him off the hook, but or not. I don't know, but I'm here for all that to see how that thing is going to transform. But I still had a good time with the episode. Can't wait to see another one. Yeah, so I love George Michael as far as like his struggling, his dad convincing him that it's most likely his eyesight because of AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> and like the whole part of him not being able to be decisive about getting his eyes checked is just such a smart joke because I legitimately feel that. Like the pressure of like... When you get your eyes checked, like it is a lot. Like you gotta remember the numbers. And they, it's like they're trying to mix uh -huh. you up. So the fact that he was indecisive, I think that's such a good joke. Um, and the fact that ultimately he doesn't need glasses and he feels better when he takes them off—it's just so <laughs> smart to me. So I really appreciated that joke. That really worked for me. Um, and I thought it was really great as far as like uh, the interactions between uh, Michael and his dad. I thought, yeah, I agree. I felt like it was a, a once in a long shot. Uh, yeah. sincere moment type of moment yeah. with that. Um, and then Tobias, obviously, <laughs> in his shenanigans, resulting in the whole uh, everybody being misled as far as Iraq uh, was so classically Tobias that I appreciated that. And I also have to shout out the attention to detail with George Michael going to the refrigerator and having paint on his hand. That, that was just, that was just classic. It's around. just so yeah. well executed that they can make it that all the way. So that was really good, too. And I thought... Nadie's last jo joke about uh, Shimali, Shimali was really clever too. It's a Shimali. Um, and a shout out to uh, her mom for committing to that hoarse voice because she was trying to work it. Oh, yeah. Um, but another solid episode. Can't wait for the next one. <laughs> All right. Well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Arrested Development Season 2, Episode 5. And until next time, people, peace.